Hello and welcome to another Google Plus Tips and Tricks update video with myself, James Lawson Smith. So today there have been quite a few announcements from Google I.O. Day 1, and one of those major announcements was the Google Plus events. Now a lot of you may have seen this popping up on your stream, and also sort of uh, there was a pop-up that, you know, told you quite blatantly all about it really. Um, so I'm going to do a quick overview of the new events. Now there are a couple of places you can get to the events page over on the left hand side there is a new icon saying events and over on the right there is a small banner that you can create an event from now we're going to go to events here this is plus.google.com forward slash um, events or forward slash plus forward slash events. I think that they're the two different links you can get to this page on. Now this is the main dashboard. As you can see, I've been invited to a few events already. Now there are various different events that can happen. You can be invited to a real world event, i.e. you know, someone's party or the launch of a new product or something of that nature. Or you can also book slots for Google Plus Hangouts. Now these can be normal Hangouts or they can also be on-air Hangouts. Now as you can see, Sarah Hill invited me to a Hangout happening uh, right now actually. So I can click on here and join the Hangout. Another one that you can do is online events. Now, as you can see, uh, Robert Redell has uh, decided he's going to delete his Facebook account tomorrow. Uh, so on that one, I have selected maybe. Uh, now, the choices that you have for are you going is yes, you're going. You know, you might be going or you won't be attending. So when you click on the actual event, it gives you the full details of that event, uh, the time of when that event is, the date, where it is with full integration to Google Maps. And you can also check on your Google Calendar to check your availability, um, you know, to make sure that there's no conflicts with other events that you may be attending, which is a very handy feature. Um, down below, you will see all of the comments that everyone is making about the event. And also, while the event is taking place, people can upload pictures and video all associated with that event. And one of the new features with the new Android operating system, Jelly Bean, is that you can activate party mode, which basically means that anyone taking pictures at the event or making comments will automatically be associated with that event. So how do you actually create an event? Well, in your Google Plus events dashboard at the top here, there is create events. So if you click on there, it'll bring up a, a small UI so that you can create your event. Now you can give your event a title. You can set the date and time, which has got full integration into the Google Calendar feature. And it will also show you events the you know coming up to, to make sure that you don't book an event that conflicts with one you're already attending you can set a start time and also set the end time for that event so if you've got a, an event that happens over multiple days that will cover it you can also put in a location which has got full integration into google maps so you people will be able to get directions and see where the event is and you can also post details about the events of you know who's attending if it's a live band event you can say what bands are, are, are playing and you know what drinks promotions you're having and, and all that sort sort of thing then at the bottom here, you can invite people. Now, these people don't necessarily have to be on Google+. You can invite uh, entire circles from within Google+, or invite specific people that are on Google+, but you can also invite people just with their email address. Now, what will happen when you do that is they'll be sent an invite via their email, and then they can you know, come on, come on over to Google Plus and decide whether they want to attend your event or not. So this is a great feature. So you, you don't just have to invite people that are on the Google Plus network. You can invite people from, you know, many other networks that are around at the moment. Now, you do have more advanced features. If you click on event options, you can click on advanced. Now, what this enables you to do is you can add the event as a Google Plus Hangout. Uh, this event will be online only, so you click on that, and the map option is taken away because obviously it's online and it can be worldwide. Now, if you want, you can also make this a hangout on air, 
which means that this Hangout will be broadcast live on Google Plus and on YouTube, so obviously everyone can see that. Now, you do have some other additional options. You can add in a website URL for your event. So if you've got a website dedicated for your event, you can add that in so people can find more details. If you're selling tickets for your event, you can also add that URL so people can buy tickets directly from your website. If you have a YouTube channel that you would like associated with the event, you can add that as well. You can also add in additional information uh, for, you know, for, you know, how to get there, like local bus transport, maybe some numbers for some local taxi companies to make it easier for people to get to. And, you know, you can tell them about local parking, you know, for instance. Now, one of the really exciting features is you can change the, the banner theme that is along the top. Now, all you have to do is you can click on change theme and you can go through and scroll and see all of the different themes that are available. Now, you will notice a lot of them are animated and some of them are, are very, very nice and very well done. Um, some of them have very, you know, minor um, animations in them. You can see that she's uh, buttering the bread there and tossing the salad. Uh, this one here is very subtle. You can see the, the blowing of the uh, towel that is hanging over the side there. Now, many of them aren't animated, but a lot of them are animated and they are very well done. Uh, one of my favourites is actually this party theme one, where every now and again, the guy on the sofa takes a sip of his drink. Um, these are the featured ones. So you can go to stationery and you can go through and you can choose, you know, more basic themes for your event if you wish there's you know many to choose from or if you like you can actually upload your own so you can actually s select uh, pictures that you've already uploaded or you can upload your one directly from your computer so you can customize the customize the theme to match your your event specifically which is a great and unique feature now another way you can flick through the featured um, selection is just to click the left and right arrows here but, you know, a better way to do it is if you click change theme and you can see all of the options that are available. So what happens when you've been invited to an event? Now, when you're invited to an event, you will receive an email telling you. So here's an invite that I received from Sarah Hill. Now, it'll tell you that Sarah Hill has invited you to and then the name of the event. And it'll give you all of the basic details. And again, the banner appears at the top. And then under here, it will tell you the first couple of people that have been invited to the event and also how many people in total have been invited. And here is the description that Sarah Hill put in, you know, to describe what the event is. So if you'd like to join, you can click on Are You Joining? And it will bring you to that specific event page. So then you can go along and see some more details. And you can also click the little drop down here, which will bring up the complete description. And also if there's a Google map, it'll bring up the map for it and any other sort of details for that event. And one of the other great features, as I said earlier, is the live slideshow feature. Now, what this will um, happen is as people are uploading pictures or video of the event, they will automatically be added to that event stream. So if you're at a party, you can see, you know, all the pictures that are being uploaded for that party. A great feature would be, you know, maybe to have this stream playing live on a projector at your event. So you can see all of the pictures and everything that are being uploaded for your event as your event happens. Now, this is a unique and great feature, I think, for Google+. Plus. So if you actually want to turn off um, email updates for the Google Plus events, that's quite easy to do. On any of the Google Plus pages, if you just click on the little cog icon up here and then go to settings, you can go, this will take you to your settings page where you can actually set what note of email notifications that you get. Now, when you go down, there is a new one that says events. Now, what you can do is you can change what notifications you get via email. Now, if you have the Android app installed, you will also have the phone notification uh, options as well. So you can turn those on and off as well for your phone so that you won't get inundated with loads of in, you know, uh, e email and notifications about events if you don't want to see them. So you could turn off the notifications on your phone, but still have them on your email which again is a very handy feature. So if you would like to know more about the events uh, that are happening on Google+, just pop along 
to plus.google.com forward slash events. I will put a link down below in the description. I will be making more videos that will go into more detail about each of the specific events and how to how to use each of the features that are involved with the Google Plus events. So if you have any questions, please message me on Google Plus. I'm available at James Lawson Smith. I'm also available on Facebook, again, James Lawson Smith, and Twitter, which is at James LS. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.